Hey, 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 hey. Chidima right there with Yanga, absolute jam right yeah. there. Guys, there's always something to make you smile every day on Entertainment Splash, but there's something extra special about Wednesdays. Why is that, Amanda? <laughs> well, because Wednesdays are extra special because we keep the conversation strictly about music and the people who make them. So, music, music lovers, get in here and welcome to the countdown edition of Woo! the show. Now, my name is Amanda Dara and Faladile has named me Mandy. Yes! Yeah, I love it. So, we can stick with that today. Mandy, Mandy. <laughs> Guys, my name is Faladile. Welcome aboard. Now, let's get into what we have for you on today's show. Okay, are you ready? Well, let's do this. Now, per usual, we'll begin with today's entertainment story and then we'll take some celebrity birthday shout outs then there'll be rewind as well and then woman crush Wednesday and of course for that got you covered with the laughs on today's Sweetville then on today's daily top five we'll be talking about five opening acts turned superstars later on we'll chew it off and then we'll bring you the news recap then we'll wrap up the show in grand style with the East Best so Top 10 Council I love it I love it I love oh, it wow so you're ready for this <laughs> I am you're ready for this this. Yes. Then let's get started. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Welcome back to the show, guys. You've been enjoying the jams. We've been giving you, I'm sure, back yes. to back. Yeah. That's what we do. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get right into the entertainment stories that we have for you today. We we'll begin with this one. Naira Mali and others to be arraigned in court today for violating restriction order. Nigerian artist Aziz Fashala, a.k.a. Naira Mali, former Lagos State governorship candidate Babatunde Badamosi and his wife are all set to be arraigned in court today. This is coming after they were granted bail when they turned themselves in for questioning on Monday for attending the birthday party of Funke Akindili's husband, JJ Skills, over the weekend. The spokesperson of the police command, Bala Elkana, explained the reason for the delay in Naramali and the Badamosi's arraignment, stating that their selective days for court sitting due to the COVID-19 um, pandemic, sorry. And if you would recall, Funke Akindele and her husband, JJ Skills, who are the main culprits, were arraigned before the Ogba Magistrate Court on Monday, where they were sentenced to community service and fined 100,000 Naira each for defiling the government stay-at-home order. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so um, I'm, I'm happy that we're making progress with this one as well, that, you know, that it's being caught today and everything. And I know that um, the courts are also on, like, a partial um, break, yeah, and they're yeah. only attending to specific cases. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I imagine that this is one of the important ones. But um, I, I would like to see how it goes. I imagine maybe the the punishment would be similar to what yeah. Funke and JJC got. It has to be similar yeah. to what JJC and Funke Hakindi got. Because it's not hundred thousand like or partiality because yes. at the same time you are not, you know, um, practicing social distancing. And I said, as I said yesterday, I'm very happy that Naramali turned himself in. He mm -hmm. didn't make this a situation of, oh, I'm bigger than the government yeah. or, oh, they're trying to crucify me or make me the scapegoat. He didn't change the narrative to suit himself because mm -hmm. he has fans that would have carried that narrative to the end. And I'm happy that he came out, and I'm happy that um, uh, the candidates, Badamosi, came out as well. And I just hope that um, they're able to do whatever they sentence them to successfully yeah. and just move on from yeah. it. I, to be honest, I, I, I don't think that it's... Um, I don't think it should become a big deal that you drag. I feel like it's one of those things where, I mean, of course, there have been memes rolling in for Funke Akindele and them and all that. But I feel like it's one of those things where you just take your L. She has apologized. She had even apologized before she showed up in court. That has happened. Let's just, you know, move on. And so with Nara Mali, of course, he already had a court case before. Mm. And so adding this to the list of cases is just a lot. But again, it doesn't have to be a big mm -hmm. deal. Just do your time. And I even think something good might come out of it because uh, part of the things that were giving to Funke Akindele was the 14 days um, community, community service, service yeah. 10 days in different locations, mm -hmm. speaking mm -hmm. about practicing social mm -hmm. distancing mm -hmm. and the need to you know, be careful in this period in time. And I'm just imagining Naramali in 10 different locations saying, Malias, what's your heart? That you know, do you know practice what? social distancing. Amanda, and I'm like, that, that would be actually a going to be late. Yeah. Because, and he actually has a new song out, which I'm sure like he would, maybe he should just see this whole thing as PR for it and just take the whole thing seriously. Honestly, and like you said, it would be fun. It would be fun. Malias, <laughs> distance. Yeah, that would be. Ah. <laughs> he should employ you. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, moving on to more news. Halima Abubakar welcomes new baby. Nollywood actress Halima Abubakar has welcomed a baby boy. Now, she made a revelation via her Instagram page where she shared a picture of herself holding the baby's hand with the caption, a gift from God and I will cherish you for life. 
biggest miracle, a boy, 3420. Now, just so you know, in November 2019, Halima Abubakar announced that she was expecting a baby when she captioned one of her posts, smile of gratitude, and I'm expecting a little mini motherhood. Massive congratulations to Halima Abubakar. I think, of course, in this time and season we're just happy to see good news yeah, and we're happy uh, that mother and child is safe I'm fine, yeah, yeah. Um, i'm really happy for her i i want to be slightly pedantic i wonder about the uh when she broke the news and she said uh something a miracle a boy mm. i'm i just want to be slightly pedantic and be like mm. are those two connected is she saying that it's like a big thing because it's a boy or is she just saying that it is a boy it's a big thing and this is the date ah, but that's not my look, i'm just being that I'm is just, another angle i'm just trying to stress <laughs> it out but i'm happy for her um i think it was what two years ago or was it earlier last year yeah. so where um she had like fibroid the fibroid, a fibroid situation and she had to get uh treatment done in india and all that wow. yeah and then it became a thing where people started saying oh does she have cancer and this that like and she was like stop spreading bad stories about me mm -hmm. so um to know and you know how messy the fibroid thing can yeah, be so yeah. to know that you know she was able to have a child and you know that whole thing Which is, is why she's probably is very grateful exactly. and maybe that is where the miracle thing is e coming yeah, from probably. <laughs> oh wow all right congratulations <laughs> to her right there moving on to more news in the foreign scene rapper jeezy and tv host jenny may are engaged mm -hmm. american rapper jeezy and his talk show host fiance jenny may have taken their relationship to the next level as they are now engaged according to people magazine the rapper was originally planning to proposed to Ginny during a romantic vacation to Vietnam this month, but he had to change his plans due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Sources state that the couple got engaged during a romantic quarantine date night on March 27th at Jeezy's Los Angeles home. Confirming the engagement, the real co-host took to her Instagram page to share the news, and she shared a picture of herself and her fiancé with the caption, I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life loving you. Yes! Thank you everyone for celebrating this journey with us. We are praying love over everyone from here. The new couple met on the set of The Real and began dating in November 2018, but went public with their relationship in August 2019 during Jesus' inaugural Snowball Gala. Yeah! I'm so, oh my gosh, Amanda, allow me yeah. to just yeah. dwell on this for like all right, a all right. while. I'm so excited so about, I'm so excited <laughs> for her. Um, so Ginny is actually probably my favorite co-host on The Real. Mm -hmm. So when I saw mm -hmm. this, I, I was stalking as usual. Mm -hmm. I was on one of her co-hosts page, Lonnie Love, and then she put it out and people were like, ah, Lonnie, you've started, or you want to start to be the first to break this. Mm. Are you sure that this really happened? Mm. And then she now said, you know what, go check people. And Aww. so people had done like an exclusive thing with them. So I think it had happened since March 27th, but they didn't put it out until Ooh. when people was ready. Yeah. And um, it was just, it was just really, really exciting. She's been through quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. She's been open about the fact that she didn't want to have kids and then she got a divorce. I believe it was uh, about two years ago now mm -hmm. and people are like, oh, is it because of the kids thing? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And the divorce got messy and so we discovered she was dating Jeezy, I think last year and we're like, oh, girl and she's always been teased about liking black men yeah. so <laughs> so her first husband was white so when this finally happened people were like okay. you've always wanted a black man <laughs> we're happy for you but yeah it's just really exciting stuff mm -hmm. and um people have also wondered if it happened too early Hmm. Because they started dating, I believe, late 2018, but then mm -hmm. um, they put it out like mid-2019. Yeah, mid I don't think that's too early. Right. Um, I feel like, because uh, I saw one of her posts where she said, coming from a place where we understand that love is about safety, honesty, truth, um, I've experienced it, he has experienced it, so we both know the kind of love that we mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. I think she's now in a more mature place in her in her life, and I've been following her from How Do I Look? Yeah, and I, know that I love she's that show. One person that she speaks her yeah, mind, yeah. like, you know, and I'm just very happy about about this. However, you know how Hollywood marriages can Amanda, be. Amanda, that's where I'm so going. So I just hope that it lasts and they remain happy for a very long time because the tolerance I, level is not I, that high. Yeah, I agree hmm. with you. Um, I agree about the whole thing about being mature. I mean, they're both in their 40s. I think he's yeah. 40 and then he's maybe 41 or two. So, and he has a child and, you know, so it seems like a more mature arrangement. Mm -hmm. And she also, she's also spoken about how she's really happy here and um, she's experiencing love in a way that she didn't yeah. in her past marriage. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. I really hope they last. I hope it works out. Well, they look cute together. Because Jesus is a gangster, yo. I'm, I, I, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, well, <laughs> We're happy for you, Ginny. Congrats. All right, guys, that is all we can take on entertainment news for today. Moving on to more celebratory discussions. Yes, celebrity birthday shout out. Woo! Hey, 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 hey. All righty, first up on our list, John Schneider is 60 today. Hey. Bye. Bye. Bye.
bum, bum. Yes, the big six zero. He's an American actor and country music singer. He's best known for um, from series like uh, The Dukes of Hazard, Smallville, and The Haves and The Have Nots. Yes, mm -hmm. I know him from um, The Haves and The Have Nots. I know and... him from Smallville. Oh yeah, yeah. And Smallville it's so interesting to see that he's... <laughs> he did. It was and that part of the reasons why I can't stand series anymore. Yeah. Just like can something happen. <laughs> but of course, I think Smallville was a very fantastic series mm -hmm. and his character in it as well. And it's just interesting that he's sixty. Yeah, he's sixty today. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. And and um, uh, also, he's a country music singer as well, which I thought was quite interesting. And he's a Christian as well, as at the last Ooh. time I checked. Yeah. Praise <laughs> so, God. <laughs> praise <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys. Um, second person celebrating today here in Nigeria. D.O. to the T.U.N. Yeah. Yes, the Nigerian on-air personality, video jockey, actor, and media entrepreneur is 36 today. Yes, mm, the energy god himself. The energy god. <laughs> him and, you him have and to, uh, you have to <laughs> love the way he has happened, um, the way he has handled his career, rather, mm -hmm. the way he has made a brand out of this energy thing. Because I didn't think that hype could be so structured till Dotson, and then he's now having classes for it and all of that. I think it's just fantastic That's the brand that he has yes, built for himself. Yes, and I think I think it's also great that um, I think maybe what might have helped with that as well is his exposure to the industry earlier on with mm. dancing. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. he was dancing, and then it was in videos like Why Me, Divanji's Why Me. So I think maybe that exposure into the industry maybe also helped him help be able to brand. structure yes exactly everything just comes exactly. together for good happy birthday to him and of course happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating today we're sending you love light peace happiness and sanitizer <laughs> 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 all right guys up next our rewind and woman crush wednesday check it out <laughs> let's rewind on this day in 1931 dimitri shostakovich ballet the arrow premieres and in 1975, Ellen Boston and Art Connery win for The Godfather Part II at the 47th Academy Awards. Finally, in 1986, Clint Eastwood was elected mayor of Carmel, California. That makes his day. And that's it on Rewind. It's Woman Crush Wednesday, and today we're crushing on the accomplished Tracy Ellis Ross. Tracy is an American actress and television host who is known for her lead roles in the comedy television series Girlfriends and Blackish. Ross, who is the daughter of actress and Motown recording artist Diana Ross, began acting in independent films and variety series. She made her screen debut in 1996 playing a Jewish African American woman in the independent feature film Far Harbor and the following year she debuted as host of The Dish, a lifetime TV magazine series keeping tabs on popular culture. In 1998, she starred as a former high school track star in the NBC made for TV movie oh, Race day. Against Fear, My name is A Moment of Truth. Carla. And in 2000, she broke into comedy as a regular performer in the MTV series The Lyricist Lounge Show. From 2000 to 2008, she played the starring role of Joan Clayton in the comedy series Girlfriends, for which she received two NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Actress in a Comedy Series. She also has appeared in the films Hanging Up. I see you.com and that is little girls before returning to television playing Dr. Carla Reed on the BET sitcom Read Between the Lines, for which she received a third NAACP Image Awards. Since 2014, Ross has played the starring role of Dr. Rainbow Johnson in the ABC comedy series Blackish, and her work on the series has earned her three NAACP Image Awards and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress Television Series, Musical, or Comedy. She has also received nominations for two Critics' Choice Television Awards and three Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Don't you just love Tracy Ellis Ross? <laughs> I do! Now here are five things you may not know about Miss Ross. Tracy revealed in an interview that she leaned on her girlfriends Kerry Washington, Eva Longoria, America Ferreira, and Rashida Jones for support while making a directorial debut on Blackish. What powerful women she has as friends. Ooh. Now, alongside powerful women like Reese Witherspoon and Shonda Rhimes, Tracy founded Time's Up to help protect women in the workforce from sexual harassment. Thank you, Tracy. She won her Golden Globe 44 years after her mother did. 
Ross is the CEO of a line that produces beauty hair care products made with safe ingredients for curls, which empowers women and people of color. In 2019, Ross created, alongside Kenya Barris, a prequel spin-off of Blackish called Mixedish. Aren't we just proud of her? Yes, we are. And that's why we made her our woman crush for today. You know what, Faladile? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get all dressed up and actually go out and be like, tonight. <laughs> Wow, look at where this woman's mind is. Right, that was by, by um, DJ Copy and Sakodie. Yes, absolute jam right there. Right. And yes, we've been reminiscing about how when all this is over, everyone's going to get dressed up. Yeah. Go out there Turn up. <laughs> I'm, sure you, I'm sure you won't, hey. but OK. Are you sure? I'm sure. Just me climbing tables and stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, it's time for today's Dose of Laughs on Twitville. Are you ready, Mandy? Yes, I am. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> so someone put this up. People are bored. Please and please post something fun on your status. Stop acting all mature. You don't even have sense in real life. Hey. And this is so deep because <laughs> you know how <laughs> I think I was part of the people forming, oh my gosh, all these challenges initially, but I just hopped on them eventually. <laughs> But, I think um, you'll be doing one sing yes, song challenge yes, or something like that. Yes, 30 day song challenge. But um, you know, there's been people asking all like, oh my gosh, you guys, you need to be doing something better. Challenges up and down. Whatever. What are you doing to your maturity? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Tell your maturity to the bank. Thank, Thank you, you Amanda. Let them know. Preach, bro. <laughs> Preach. Preach. Yes. All right, next one. <laughs> people need the fun. Exactly. And I mean, it's light, it's fun, it's chill. All right, Tomo Talabi, who is a bit of a mess on Twitter, and put this up and he said, wait, so just like that, Egungu be careful has died down. And so and then Tito said, replied, Egungu is isolating. Hey. Because, because <laughs> when he crossed the express, he caught Corona. So yeah, so stay wow. in isolation. Wow. I mean, when he was about to, <laughs> Kenyamoto was about to jam him, and they declared lockdown, so he turned back, <laughs> and he's now in isolation. Oh, wow. I like that. I like that. But you know how trends just die down yeah, after a while in yeah. Nigeria. Like, honestly. Just jump on it if you can, mm -hmm. and let it go. It's just all fun. And I like that Obesere also milked it and got a song with, with Latin, Latin out of it. <laughs> what? Hmm. All right, so Daddy Cho put this picture up of very succulent and soft bread. I get get bread looking. Mm. Oh my god, can I just dwell on this for a minute? <sighs> I'm not sure if it looks succulent. Amanda! It's so, it's so brown. Amanda! I prefer when it's like white. No, but this part is whitish, yeah, but the top yeah, yeah. is, oh my gosh. Anyway, let me just move on. Mm. And someone captioned this picture, what combo goes best with this type of beautiful bread? Mm. Right? And then someone replied. And then <laughs> sarcastic Frank replied, a while going that the hawker has trekked over 30 minutes, but less than one hour. That slaps the hardest. <laughs> wow! So you get, what? So still over 30 minutes, but less wow. so like, like 45 minutes. So it's not so hot. <laughs> because 30 minutes it has cooled and so it's now warm. It's tepid. <laughs> so you now mix it with the bread. <laughs> wow, you guys. <laughs> I can't believe he added maths into this. What? <laughs> so you know, what I love is how people analyze food sometimes. Like he kills me. Like, look. You gotta get the temperature right. Mm -hmm. So she's been working for th over 30 minutes, but mm -hmm. not 30 minutes, not under. Not, not one hour. But not one hour. But not, <laughs> wow. Look, just give me a while going. If you've been working for 10 minutes, I don't mind. Just give me a while going with this bread. <laughs> Mad. All right, next one. Maybe not right now, so I'm a bit skeptical about buying stuff like this right now because of Corona. Yeah. <laughs> All right, JJ tweeted, you. You be like you as a chick. Mm. You're like I almost died, and then Nigerian men be like, "Hey, yeah, when am I seeing you, Sha?" Wow, <laughs> the actual worst. Like, babe, I don't know how this happened to me today. Like, you know, a trailer almost hit me. What <laughs> almost jammed me? Hey, no, yeah, when are you cooking? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, okay. Okay, nice one, nice one. But when am I seeing you? Like. What? Zero, zero in um, zero. Nigerian men, y'all need to do better. Or well, some Nigerian men, not all of you, because I know. I think they have just associated women with stories. Mm. Yes. Yeah, okay, like, cool story, bro. Mm. But when am I seeing you? When are you coming Before over? Before it turns to money. Like, like, I, <laughs> wow. And also just how focused they are on when am I seeing you? When am I seeing you? Like, what happened? I was gonna ask them. Maybe it's just turn to bills nope. real quick. <laughs> so like, okay. <laughs> Don't you know, ask people how they are, because next thing you see, I'm not fine. No, I need money. Hey. Anyway, next one. All right, so Daniel tweeted, avoid help from people that will brag about feeding you. And then Essie replied, okay, but they're my parents. What can I do about that? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh, my mom. Oh, Lord. 
<laughs> your mom will remind you about the time that she did this for you and that for you. Yeah, all African parents, I think that there's a manual that they go to. My dad Because they though. do everything the same way. But no my dad doesn't. No matter where they are staying. But my mom. What? Because, because <laughs> it's, but it's hard sometimes because mm. it flips depending on the home. Like sometimes, I, I, feel, I feel like your dad is strict. Than your mom? No, your mom no, no, is no. It's my mom that is more African. Right. My dad can be strict about weird things. Right. You know? Not normal things. But mm. my mom is this regular feeding. Did you see that BC I sent you? Oh my gosh. You know, why are you acting that you're committing suicide in a film? Do you want it to happen in real life? That's uh, your mom, right? Yeah, that's my mom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so the things are in the spiritual realm, happen in the physical realm. So yeah, all African mothers are the same. Why are you right? acting that you're committing? <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I'm at that <laughs> She still hasn't accepted my request for I'm following serious. Instagram. I'm serious. I'm going to tell her. Please tell her. I mean... It was a conversation, oh, babe. <laughs> hmm. You don't know that things that happen in the spiritual realm happen in the physical realm. So, so when you're not acting this thing, have you not noticed that actors and actresses have problems in life? Wow. On that all right, I'm done. That's yeah, it. I'm that's done. All right, sweet Thanks. <laughs> Done. Thank you so much for La Daily. We'll be back after this with today's Daily Top 5. Stick around. Wow. <laughs> eh, 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 dancing eh, always eh, freely. Eh, See that tight space? <laughs> All I was thinking of is that two meters. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Tua <laughs> Savage and Duncan Mighty on that one. Lover, lover. Yes. Sweet music right there. And speaking of music, guys, believe it or not, there was once a time when some of music's biggest acts were up and coming acts. Mm -hmm. Major artists of today were once in the shadows of acts who, in some cases, they later even surpassed in popularity. Let's take a look at five musicians who went from being opening acts to becoming superstars. This is Daily Top 5. Four, three, two, one. Let go. Hey, 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 hey. Did you know that Kanye West once opened for Usher? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Truth Tour was the second concert tour by American recording artist Usher. And visiting Africa, North America, and Europe, the tour promoted his fourth studio album, Confessions. The tour was ranked as one of the highest grossing tours of 2004 in North America. And Kanye West was one of Usher's opening acts in North America. Man. This is so crazy. Because yes. when you look at the time as well, it was around th um, 2004 mm -hmm. that Kanye really started like to get, yeah, to to get mainstream. Exactly. Yeah. Touch the Sky and all those songs. Like... I'm just like, I just think that sometimes, you know, everything happens in seasons. Mm -hmm. And that was Usher's period. It was hot cake, confessions. Are you joking? Yeah. And I think like that would have been a huge opportunity for up and coming Kanye West. And I'm even happy we're talking about this because Kanye West likes to act like he just came and boom, he was a superstar. <laughs> Although right now I think his network is um, higher than Usher, but of course yeah. the timing, yeah. the streams and everything is very different right now. Um, this is this was so cool. Like I saw this and I was like, wait, what? I know. It's just, it just goes to show that, like, the way that life turns. And, yeah. yeah, at one point, Usher was the popping thing. And, and then, then he gave moved to um, Kanye, Kanye the platform. Yeah, and then... Oh, yeah, and talking about life turning, guess who now took over? Mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar for Kanye West. Now, the 2013 Jesus Tour was a concert tour by American rapper Kanye West in promotion of his sixth solo studio album, Jesus. It was Kanye's first solo concert tour in five years. And Kendrick Lamar, another artist, served as opening acts on select dates. It had the second highest grossing leg of a tour in 2013 behind Paul McCartney's Out There tour. I mean, look at that. Really <laughs> amazing stuff. And um, I mean, I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan. And I'm really happy to see like how far he's come as, as well. Yeah. Like in, in the rap industry, in the hip hop industry, he seems to just have a place of his own. Yes. And to know that Kanye gave him that shot for for um, a, a, a tour leg mm -hmm. to have been like the second highest grossing mm -hmm. in that year mm -hmm. after Paul McCartney's own. And then for you to have performed yeah. in that leg like that's just again it would have been a big deal for him at yes. the time oh my god opening for kanye west <laughs> and then to <laughs> now discover later right that now. it was yeah that but it there's so one much. fantastic thing i see amongst rappers there's this um unity if you're in their clique <laughs> they look out for you but if you're not in their clique eh. very yeah. important <laughs> if you're in their clique if all right next person on the list justin bieber yes justin bieber once opened for taylor swift before all of their bad blood developed justin served as the opening act for taylor swift during her fearless tour when she performed in England in 2009, yes, back when Justin had the hair and Remember the baby this. face oh and all that. Goodness. And he even, you know, was working with Usher at the time. You know well. what? I remember this picture because yeah. I used to be a huge Justin Bieber fan. Mm -hmm. I remember him tweeting or saying on Facebook, I believe, that, oh my God, I just met Taylor Swift and this and that and that and working a couple of things together. And Taylor Swift at the time was like, I don't even know, she was like the thing. Yes, the, she was. The biggest pop mm -hmm. star. And mm -hmm. I think she even still is. She is still. And I, mean, I, and I feel like I'm really 
happy that she was able to groom Justin Bieber to how he is today. Because now, looking at him now, he, he looks like a very mature man. And um, I don't think the bad blood should have caused anything between them. Look, yeah. I mean, life happens and because, okay, so there was the whole thing about Scooter Brown, which is like, who is yeah, the music he, executive who Taylor had worked with, in, worked with in the past. And I believe we reported the news um, yeah, the other time yeah. about how um, she was complaining that he wasn't allowing her perform her old her stuff old that she did with him. Record. And Justin kind of spoke up about that and vouched for mm -hmm. Scooter, which Demi Lovato did as well. Mm -hmm. Like, look, that is not even yeah, an I, issue. I hope it is not an issue because mm -hmm. we can't really say because I don't think Taylor Swift replied that yeah. directly to him. So I hope she takes the mature angle and just be like, you know what, Justin, I wasn't talking to you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first person on our list is Demi Lovato for the Jonas Brothers. Mm. Now, the Burning Up tour was the fifth concert tour by the Jonas Brothers, and this tour was to promote their third album a little bit longer in 2008. The tour also had uh, promoted the Disney Channel original movie Camp Rock, in which the Jonas Brothers has starred alongside Demi Lovato. Demi also opened for Avril Lavigne in the same year during her best Demi world tour. Do you remember Camp Rock? Of course. I, yeah, I know I know that you were a of Disney girl course, at that time. Yes, but Camp Rock. What? <laughs> that was that was um so you know um, what's it called? Uh uh Demi was doing Sunny with the Chance, the show yes, that yes, she and yes. so we had been seeing her as an actress and then even when she was younger I believe she did Barney and all that. Mm -hmm. So Camp Rock was like a major thing where she merged both talents and she's like, ah guys, I really sing well yes. and, yes, and you I know I still act as well. as well. And they were like, okay, not bad. Mm -hmm. And then she started having a close relationship with the Jonas Brothers and I believe that not even just opening for them on the tour but even that movie as well mm -hmm. was a mm -hmm. solid way to really bring her out honestly and speaking, she became i just thing. thought it was a very fantastic pr move because as you said we all knew her as an actress yes. who could sing mm -hmm. and this one was one of the moves that actually set her apart and said you know what i'm a singer yeah. as well yeah. so you're saying singer actress not actress who can sing mm -hmm. you know and i feel like it was a wonderful thing for her look at her now and in that same year yeah. she opened for avril Lavigne as well mm. who was also still a big deal at the you time know? yeah wow <laughs> interesting life mm -hmm. eh? all right last person on the list lady gaga for the pussycat dolls mm -hmm. hey. yes lady gaga opened for the pussycat dolls um i believe this was in was it 2010 yeah i think it was in 20 2009 yeah and then crazy how by the next year gaga had become the biggest pop star in the world while the pussycat dolls were no longer in the news as much you know what is so crazy about this thing you're saying is the fact that pussycat dolls are girly girls very um mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. whether to say sexy or yeah you can, very, you can. yeah <laughs> you know and Lady Gaga coming out was the crazy person, green hair, all colors of hair, wearing all sorts of things. So <laughs> it was, I think that they liked her because she was yeah, so different yeah. from them. And you know, it, I think that this would have had a huge impact in her career because Pussycat Dolls, oh, oh it, girl, it did. What? Like Lady Gaga was 20, 2009, 2010, she was a big deal. As mm, in from mm. that tour period into the next year, like how quickly, dolls, yeah, though. I do as well. I do mm. as well. But I think when they started having people leave, join, yeah, leave, join, yeah. that's what I knew that ah, maybe, oh, maybe but I, I know that the lead left at some point. Yes. yes. And the, yeah. Nicole Sh um, Scherzinger. Yeah. I wish we can <laughs> see them again. Even, even Lady Gaga has kind of like gone quiet in recent times. I mean, you mm. know, she, so she did the movie, I believe 2018 with, uh, Bradley Cooper. Oh, yes. Wow. And gone yeah. The so, scene. So I hope to see her in more films because she killed that life. Role. Maybe the it. next Daily Top 5 we'll be talking about singers who are now actresses. Maybe. All right, guys, <laughs> we have come to the end of the first half of the show. Now, in a bit, there'll be more of the show to enjoy as we bring you the Top Woo! 10 Countdown. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. Uh, yes, it is still hmm. Entertainment Splash right here on TVC Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Faladili, yes, wow. and that's Amanda over there, just okay. in case Hi. you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, yes, welcome back for the second half hmm. of the show. Now it's time to chew it off. Yes, one of us is about to rant about what is presently bugging her. Amanda? I am good. You're good? What is bugging you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, Almost like, a, let me pull an OG and say, I don't know if it's a rant as much as it's like a, an admonition or like a please, mm -hmm. appeal, I don't know. Anyway, um, so we all saw how the Funke Akindele situation was handled. Mm -hmm. And I know you spoke about the social distancing or lack yeah. of that there was at the court, yeah. which I thought was so funny and I agreed. But um, we also saw how swiftly mm -hmm. that was handled. And mm -hmm. I just, we've seen issues not handled the same way when it comes to like different people yeah. in Nigeria. And yeah. so I'm just hoping that- They use that same energy. When it's someone who is like in a huge, I'm not just talking about like a political candidate, I'm talking like someone in a huge place of authority in the nation. If that were to happen, would yeah. it have been the same response? And I'm hoping that 
it yeah, would be. I think be. that's a very valid yeah. point because it seems like the higher you go, uh, the more lax the blinder people are. The blinder <laughs> people are, the more you can get yourself out of the system, which mm -hmm. is why I feel people really wanted to use um, Funke Akindele as the scapegoat in this situation. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel like it was more of a um, you're not going to use your status mm -hmm. or your celebrity your status here yeah. in this case to now get away from this thing mm -hmm. and now that they have started it now they can't even they can't even watching. go down because now it's like oh you did this to Funke Akindele, so why can't you do it to your politician? We're because watching. you guys took her to court. Like, we're all now watching. <laughs> Assuming they hadn't taken her to court, maybe it would have been a situation of, oh, it's all the people who are privileged yeah. in society yeah. that are getting away with it. So I feel very sad sometimes that, okay, she had to take the fall for it. But as I said, they could look at it as a good thing mm -hmm. that came out of a bad situation. Yeah. And I hope that even people, not even just people who are um, high up there, even people who are on the streets and all of that, I hope they can do the same for also, them. I was literally actually about to say that. I mean, I like how it was handled. I like the swift response, and I believe she got the message out of it. But also, I hope that it continues. I've also been seeing the police guys and the soldiers on the road, and they've been stopping us to ask, yes, where are you going? Where is your what permission you and all that? Mm -hmm. So I just, I, I wonder about, I saw them um, yesterday stop people in front of me, and they diverted them. And I just really hope that it's not something that you can maybe hey, pay your way out yes, of or talk yes, your way out of. Yeah. I hope that we see it through, and we just mm -hmm. really see it through to the end, because that's only when we can really get this right. Wow, but yeah. I, I must say on a lighter note, I've been impressed with what the government has been doing mm -hmm. so far in controlling the pandemic. Yes, yes, I've been yes. actually impressed. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> that's it on my rant, guys. Now let's talk about the entertainment news recap. In case you missed it earlier, this is what we talked about on the news. Nara Mali and others to be arraigned in court today for violating restriction order. And then we told you that Halima Abubakar welcomed the new baby. And we also told you that rapper Jeezy and TV host Jenny May are engaged. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back from this break, we'll let you in on the songs on our countdown this week. For now, you can hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at TVC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TVC. And let us know which songs you're feeling at the moment. We'll take a break, and when we come back, it'll be time for the eSplash Top 10 Countdown! Jam. Jam. Hey, jam, jam. You know, Flash hey. is one artist I'm really rooting for. His voice is so distinct. That's his voice on that song. Um, so DJ Very Flash. laid back but cool. I love yeah. it. And I'm really, really rooting for him. He had that balance here. Mm. Yeah, I, I really, I really want to see what happens with him, hopefully this year or next year. Anyway, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for the East Splash Top 10 Countdown, baby. So let's get right into a countdown of the hottest songs buzzing in Lagos and Nigeria right about now. Yes, we begin with the one at number 10, and it is Kiss Daniel with Jaho. Yes, this one is slowly making its way mm -hmm. out of the countdown. And we talked about Kiss Daniel last week yeah. when we were talking about Bonner Boy and the battle oh, and who yeah. we would, yeah, and how we would like to see Kiss Daniel um, go up against him. Uh, no, yeah, so I'm <laughs> sure it's not going to happen. Kiss <laughs> Daniel is too focused on his mixtape right now. But um, also, I, you know how like we were talking about how Kiss Daniel gets a lot of love here in Lagos and in Nigeria. Yeah. But I think also in Africa, I mean, when you look at Jaho, on YouTube and you see the comments mm -hmm. like he's getting love from Tokyo um, from um, um, what's it called uh, Nairobi from um, South Africa from mm -hmm. like different Togo different, different parts places like, in Africa. yeah I just think it's amazing and um, people are still saying how he's underrated I don't agree with that yeah. but you know I just feel like again like I, as I like to say just because he's not the type of person that talks or screams a lot about his successes mm -hmm. so he just drops a hit you know it's a hit or you might not even know it's a hit and then you, months down the line you're like wait till this was actually a massive hit. Mm -hmm. He might not tell you, oh, two million streams. Yeah. He might not do all of that, but he's actually grinding and his work is speaking for himself. Well, speaking of two million, we will tell you that this song has two million views on YouTube. Ah, yes. Hey. <laughs> Let's go check out number 10 song. Yes, because Daniel with Jaho. Amen. Oh my God. A jam that you can feel proud to jump to, even in your house, even in church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to the East Splash Top 10 Countdown. And you just checked out that one by Kiss Daniel with Jaho. Now, on the nine spots this week is credited to Techno with Suru. And it has been on the countdown for a very long time because it's such a jam, yeah. but it's slowly winding mm -hmm. down from the countdown. And Techno has a new song. He does. Dropped it five days ago. Mm -hmm. And he's turned it into a challenge. It's called <sighs> the Kata Challenge. I saw the video. <laughs> 
<laughs> you already really nice. I saw his video that he posted like 16 hours ago where he was doing a little dance step and he had like a, no a mask on his nose and everything. And I'm like, you know what? People can still drop music because um, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day that musicians are going to feel this, you know, because they can't have concerts, they can't have um, crowds. Mm -hmm. But people are using this challenge things to promote their music, yeah. AKA Files, the yes, Pop Daddy thing. Yes. So I'm like excited to see where Kata Challenge is going to yeah. take. And um, so two things I'd say about um, the influence of this period on artists. First is, I think the only the one major way they would suffer is in terms of like being able to shoot videos, yes. especially if you have dancers and like yes. a lot of crew. Yes. But if you want to do a social distancing video, by all means, enjoy. I think Drake <laughs> but, started it off, and I now think that the challenge thing became because he has even started off a new challenge. Yeah. I don't know if it's has started like mm -hmm. hitting it off mm -hmm. here in Nigeria, but I'm happy that Techno has jumped on this, especially because of those his funny yeah. <laughs> dance moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, also, I would love to see, I'd love to see what happens for a lot of artists after this period, because yeah. I know a lot of them like burying yeah. their heads in the studio and stuff yeah, so I want to see what creativity so comes music. out of this period mm. but I heard Kata on radio the other day I think mm. it was produced by Phantom mm -hmm. and um, yeah I think it might do well I think oh wow yeah. all right but in the meantime check this one out Suru by Techno hey. Na, na, na. Hey. Yeah, Suru vibes all the way, guys. We're taking it easy yeah. right here on the show. And yes, it is the East Pass Top 10 countdown, and we've checked out number 10 and number 9, and now it's time to talk about our number 8 song. Yes, at number 8 this week, moving up on the countdown, we have Burner Boy with Odogu, and this one has about 2.5 million views on YouTube. And um, someone was saying how this song is so soothing. That's one of those yeah. songs that you jam to when you're having fish... Um, pepper soup and palm wine with your guys. Do you agree, Amanda? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, like, you jam it anyway. And I, I agree that it's very soothing. And uh, I had the, I watched his freestyle yeah. on his IG live mm -hmm. and he was just going. Mm -hmm. And somebody in the background just shouts, Oh, Dogu. I think it's a good way of hyping your friend. <laughs> so next time I see your friend, like, Oh, Dogu. Yeah. You know, so that's where I got it. Because I just like, African giant himself, he may, he may have all his character flaws, but he knows how to drop jams. Yeah, we I have think, to give it to him. And yeah. I think that's why he <laughs> talks so much about it, because he knows. <laughs> all right, guys, yes, we'll go check out our number eight song, but after this commercial break, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Hey. Hey. Dancing to this song. Do you get with, like, with that his, You know, with, uh, and then hand. not be taking it easy. Oh my god. You know, oh, and then telling you how you should not kneel down <laughs> to propose. Okay, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Away from savagery. This is still the East Flash Top 10 countdown. I just checked out our number eight spots right there. The African giant himself, Burner Boy with Odogu. <laughs> and you are an Odogu for right now for oh, watching us. All right. <laughs> our number seven spot this week is credited to Rema featuring Rushman with Bima. Obviously, such a vibe. Now, guys, if Rema, if music doesn't work out for Rema, I think you should go into content creation because I am a huge fan of his content. He did the, um, a collab with Ayo, the creator, the other day. I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. the GTA mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. he had a gun, he was moving like a character, and I'm just like, I love the idea of Rema's realm, um, which is what he does with his music. Yeah. With, um, he shoots a music video, but he has like a storyline to it. So it's almost like a short film. I really like that idea. And it's just hard to, you know, realize that he's just 19, yeah. 100 million streams, that was in December 2019. I can imagine how many streams it is right now, doing all this amazing work, dropping all this content. He's on his own lane. Mm -hmm. You know, and there was something you lane. said about like success early and all that. Yeah, I just hope that you know the success doesn't change who he is because experiencing this level of success at 19 can actually mm. get to you. Yeah. And I hope he's able to manage it. But so far, he seems pretty grounded so far. But yeah. also, um, I, I agree with you though on where he could go, like if he wasn't doing music, yeah. uh, maybe content creation, but also like something with art. Because yeah. even even the way that he comes on stage, like yeah. he can wear a mask, mask and have like a water gun and stuff. Like. He has made music a different <laughs> yeah. thing. And now like he has brought a Yankee vibe yeah. to the music. So <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, check it out. Rema featuring Russian with Bima. Yeah. Rema yeah. just has so much fun yeah. with the music, doesn't he? Rema featuring Russian right there at number seven with Bima. Now let's talk about what we have for you at number six this week. Yes, DJ Neptune, Joe Boy and Mr. Easy are giving us a sweet, sweet jam at number six this week. And it's titled Nobody. Oh my goodness. So, so Mr. Easy is a mess on 
Instagram. On Instagram, but that's what did he do? But like that's all for another day. Like all the dancing <laughs> and all that. But yeah. um, I'm I'm uh, really excited for him because he just got featured on Forbes Africa 30 under 30 class of 2020. I am not surprised. Like, and it's Mr. because Easy of you know starting in power. One of those exactly. One of those people that is grinding hard quietly, mm -hmm. and of course, a lot of people might not associate him with empire if they are not music heads or if mm -hmm. they don't know about it mm -hmm. but he has been grinding he has been putting people on the map mm -hmm. like joe boy mm -hmm. so i'm not surprised about yeah. that at all Yes, yeah. she's not surprised, and of course, we're not surprised as well. And that's exactly why they tuned. Um, that's exactly why they um, teamed up, rather, for DJ Neptune, Joe Boy, Mr. Easy at the number six spot this week with nobody. Let's check it out. Neptune, MJ vibes right love there. Love this video, <laughs> absolutely. It's an absolute jam right yeah. there, and I feel like the combination between Mr. Easy, Joe Boy, and DJ Neptune was awesome. Just and I love the way Joe Boy is now, you know, making this look a theme. This. Uh, cool guy romantic guy thing you should oh keep yeah at it. Keep definitely at it. a cool yeah definitely <laughs> also before we talk about what we have at number five i have to give a shout out to someone on twitter grace um mm -hmm. she said for ladley and amanda well done and enjoy this um lockdown beans and plantain and so she sent us a picture of her oh <laughs> thank beans you so much so like so thank that you. bread right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> awesome all right thank you so much <laughs> welcome back to the east flash top 10 countdown you just checked out our number six spots credited to dj neptune mr easy and Joe Boy with nobody, a jam. And talking about jams, number five spot this week is also a jam, credited to Yemi Alade and Angelique Kejo with Shekere. Six million views, guys, and counting. And in addition to that, they did um, an acoustic version as Yemi Alade and Angelique Kejo at home. Mm -hmm. And I was super impressed to see that Yemi Alade could play the talking drums. I was like, Oh, right. wow, interesting. Interesting stuff. Yeah. And I just like the fact that, you know, she's not saying, oh, it's doing so well on YouTube. She's still heavily promoting it. She got Angelique Kijo to be in her studio at home Bruh. as well. Bruh. What? Bruh. If Angelique Kijo is on my song, ah. I will stay on that song. And it was actually very interesting to see because this was a live acoustic version yeah. and it just showed like, their vocal prowess because um, Angelique Kijo just came. Dun, 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 dun. Na, na. I'm like, ha. <laughs> sound music. Don't worry, it didn't sound like the way I said it. It did it not. It sounded very nice, but <laughs> like, wow. Music is just emitting from the mouth to, you know, the universe. But you know what, just check it out. Yeah, check yes. the original thing out. <laughs> Yemi Alade featuring Angela Kijo with Shekere. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, y'all. All right, yes, it is still the East Pass Top 10 Countdown, and we are moving slowly up. Yes, we're working our way up, and we're now at number four, so let's tell you all about it. And number four this week, making its way up the countdown, yes, Mayokun with Gang. Gang, gang. Say it, I want gang. gang. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute jam. And um, we were talking about Rema earlier being such a fun, loving guy. And yeah. Mia Kung gives me such those vibes as well. Yes. Like on Instagram, on social media, he's just so crazy with it. And he's gearing up to release some new music because he was asking Ooh. his followers who's ready for some new music. And um, Dremel was in that I video. It'll be more than two minutes, though. Yeah, no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and Dremel was in that video as well. And yeah. they were vibing to it together. And I, I feel like I heard Dremel's voice on that song. So I don't know mm -hmm. if it's going to be a feature. And um, yeah. I mean, be surprising. Who knows? Just give us a full jam, please. <laughs> you know, because whenever I play that song in my car, I just feel like maybe it has paused. And like, oh, it has ended. It has ended, it's, Amanda. It's so well, sweet and short and, you know. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Look, we'll take it, OK? Yes, at number four this week, Mayoko with Gang. Let's check it out. <laughs> hey, gang, gang, gang. Party gang gang. 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 gang, gang, welcome back, gang. gang. <laughs> welcome back. You just checked out that one by Meoku. It is gang. All right. Now on the number three spot this week is credited to Fireboy DML with a jam, of course, vibration. I mean, if you don't think it's a jam, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. But either. I have something to tell you though. <laughs> Some people in Uganda think it's a jam mm -hmm. because I saw on his page that the street kids in Uganda. I really like what they're doing, by the way. They get the street kids, they empower them through music, through art, mm -hmm. and now in this quarantine period, uh, they just gathered out on, you know, in their little hood, and they were dancing to vibration. And Aww. Fireboy posted it. Sounds like sending love, light, and happiness to you. If this is what's gonna make you happy, vibrate all see, the way. I Nigeria, it was so sweet. Nigerian music. I was talking about the same thing with mm. like um, Kiss Daniel earlier. Like Nigerian music to to the world, to yeah, Africa, to the world. Yes, honestly, it's yes. it's been such it's been on such a rise, and it's it's fantastic to see. Honestly, wow. and I'm actually really happy, as I said, that you know they're using music for good. Yes. Because the other day when I was driving home, I still saw these street kids outside and begging. I'm like, you know what? This is a time where they can learn something and they can be empowered through music. Mm. And I'm happy that Fireboy is in support of that. So check it out, a jam by Fireboy DML with vibration.
When I listen to this song, I feel like I'm not in Nigeria. Where do you think you are? France, Paris. Girl, you're in Lagos, okay? You're not in France. You're quarantined in Lagos with me. Oh, wow, I can't even travel in my mind again. You can't. Wow. Because all right. borders are short. <laughs> you cannot go anywhere. No flights. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Yes, that was our number three song, and it was Fireboy DML with Vibration. And now let's talk about number two song. And number two this week, we have David O with One Milli. Absolute, absolute jam. Mm -hmm. And um, the DMW guys are not smiling. They're not even taking it easy on us yeah. this year. Yeah. Talk about Mayoko earlier. Um, now there's a new one out. Uh, Mafa, Mafa, and there's well, DMW featuring David Doe, um, um, Flo Wolf, um, Peruzzi, and I think yeah. Dremel on it or, or someone. And um, it sounds like something that we might not be able to play. <laughs> <laughs> well, if a video comes up for it, because, hey, I'm not even, See, the lyrics are already... This uh, DMW name, you know, even one other guy has been trending because of the DMW yeah, name. His name is Father, Father DMW, on Instagram yeah, Live yeah, as well. Yeah, and people yeah. have been saying he was his driver. This yeah, driver. So yeah. I just feel like once you just get attached to DMW, there's one hmm, Blessings fall on you. Hmm. David O was prophesying when he said, money fall on you, blessings follow you. Wow. Guys... From the deep prophet himself, Davido, at number two this week with one million. Let's check it out. Hey, how much is one million dollars? Hey, it's a lot of than 80 million naira. If you have that for my bright price, let's do this. You just checked out that one by Davido with wow. one milli. It is now time for me to tell you what is in the number one spot this week. And this one is credited to Adekunle Gold featuring Kiss Daniel with Jury. Now, Adekunle Gold, I think this quarantine thing is getting to him because he was on Twitter and he was like, you know what, guys? The moment this is done, I'm going to go quarantine <laughs> outside my house. And I just had to start and laughing. It's so funny it was so funny. And then Simi started training and people are like, yeah. are you tired of Simi? She's the one stressing you at home. <laughs> Crazy stuff. But yeah, absolute yeah. jam right absolute there at number right one. There. All right, guys, before we go, we have to remind you that we're still taking your music video requests in the form of selfies. So do a selfie video like this, telling us which videos you'd like to watch on the show. Tag at TVC Connect on your video with the hashtag Eastplash on TVC. TVC. Yes, online, um, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere, Twitter. And you just might get your song played this Friday, okay? So we leave you with our number one song for another week in a row. A Declare Gold featuring Kiss Daniel, titled Jore. Hey. From myself, Paladili. And of course, Mandy Pandy, we out, baby. Yes, guys, enjoy the number one song. Let's go.